people have been talking you up. Yeah. You can't get lazy because we're all here to take you down. We don't care who you are. We don't care how good you look. Wow, really? That was such a challenge on that focus. Good stuff. Counter hit low strong. Links in the... Okay. Yep. Lots of fights for that control of that mid range right there. They're, you see Ken trying to be just outside of Rekka range, just outside of Crouching Strong range. It's caused Momochi to walk backwards a lot, though. He has definitely given up a lot of space. Sure. But again, that's that's all due to Fudo because Fudo keeps making sure he moves forward to scare Ken into walking backwards. You see? Oh, nice. Yeah, Fudo knows, this, knows that he has such a, a good implied threat in Rekka and in, in his buttons. So he, he knows he can use those to move forward. Yep. So you can see Momochi moving backwards a little bit. Then he purposely quickly retreated and went to a fireball range that was going to be safer. Oh, wow, beautiful punish. Ah. Oh, love that challenge. Remember, EX Focus has no armor. Oh, oh no, that wasn't enough. Oh, he's dead. Not enough. Yeah, he's dead. Nothing you can do there. Oof. Ken's DP, EX especially, is going to definitely out-invincible Fei Long's DP. I was wondering if maybe EX Chicken Wing would have lasted long enough on the ground, but most likely not. Oh, proper punish there from Ken. Minus four on that overhead. Okay. Oh, from the front. Buddha looking for the cross-up, did not come. And then the DP. Oh. And uh, <laughs> I guess thought it was time to do red focus a little bit before it was. Game one, Momochi. As you said before, since Momochi is already qualified for Capcom Cup, if he gets top two, the other person in top two is guaranteed a spot in Capcom Cup. So if he wins this, that means Shen is in. Yep. And Shen, a player who basically spent most of 2014 trying to get in the Capcom Cup. Right. He went to so many events at the end of the year. This year, he can qualify on the very first premiere event if Momochi takes this. Great spot on the range right there. Ooh. Momochi, relentless in this pressure, but good recognition from Fudo to react to that focus to be able to cancel low jab into Rekka fast enough. Beat out the focus attack. He's done that a couple of times now, and of course it's not invincible, but it's pretty fast. And that's why it's useful there. It's hard to do unless you have your reactions that are at that level. Yeah, as long as your move has less startup frames than the actual focus attack, you can always buffer into that special move and you will always win. Ooh, nice tech. That was maybe something that Momochi was looking for, was to outrange the jump and then go for throw. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. This time he had the chip measured properly and actually gets the victory. And the battle continues. Fight! Lots of patience. What? That was so good. <laughs> that was seriously so good. Yep. Delayed meaty uppercut. Again. But he wasn't confident that time. That spent the meter instead of hit confirming it. Wow. Oh no! Oh. And here's Momochi now. He has the corner. Fudo's out. Dude, I love that stand jab and then flame kick. You barely ever see that. Oh, wow. Oh what? my god! Did he just find the magic button? I guess if it hit the first two times, do it a third time, you know? Fudo really wanted to go in there. Momochi with the manual hurricane kick. Yeah, you don't see Fudo get a little hurried like that very often. Yeah. He's usually uh -huh. very patient. Okay. Oh, and he doesn't get the punish! Jumping back. Momochi tried to do something about that. No. And back to this corner control. 
One was she hoping that he baits something out of Fudo. Fudo not giving him anything. Fudo just trying to stay outside of it. Good ranges. Oh, perfect spot. Yeah. Recognize that that wasn't going to crumple. He's going to get back dash out of that. Oh! Wow, his reaction on that Hadouken is ridiculous. Like his reactions in general are amazing. Because that close up, when you're that close, that's why you throw the fireball, because people can't react to it in general. Right! But Mochi's react to it two times. I remember Fudo once describing his playstyle, and he said it was mostly reactions. And he, I mean, he's amazing at them. Yeah, that's... Oh, oh no! And then too far, he backed way off. So Fudo could not get the punish. Look at the time though, 17 now. Momochi needs to make a bunch of big stuff happen immediately. Bye. Oh, well, hold on. No, that could be no. the start. That's gonna eat up most of the time that's remaining. I don't know if the mix up afterward is even gonna have enough potential. Maybe not. Yeah, okay, he, he knew that was KO. Yeah, I mean, as much as we talked about Arturo giving a lot of credit to Uniel for uh, his play this weekend, a player like Fudo can credit a lot of his play from Virtua Fighter. I know we've mentioned this tons of times whenever Fudo is on stream, but that game is really a game of reactions and reads, and you can see it reflected here in Fudo's gameplay. Oh! Wow! That was just a sick sequence there from Momochi. Oh, he did let it all the way rip. There's a really interesting game of chicken going on. Yeah. But I just love watching the evolution of those that mind game during the course of a, ma of a match. Yeah, absolutely. It's so intriguing. Oh. Right, he's throwing, he's gonna die because he took two low shorts of white damage. And the battle continues. Fight! How is it that Driftwood replied to my talking on the air. Is he not in this room right now? That's a really good question. Because he's here this weekend, and if so, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Nice EX uppercut. Wow. Punish it. Good stuff. Has to spend a bar, but that's cool. Still has two of them. There you Again, go. Punished, yep. This is exactly where Fudo wants to be now. And Momochi challenges it so well. Still throwing fireballs at that spot. Even though we've seen the focus is through by Fudo. I think he threw out that standing short to try to stop the Rekka and it just didn't work. Oh, everything Fudo wants right now is working this round. Oh, he dashed back and chip damage away. Momochi getting pretty gutsy. Is he trying to bait something? Well, whatever it was, did not come. It almost seemed like Momochi was kind of hoping Fudo would just go for EX Rekka Chip, make him spend the meter, but Fudo actually got in there with that low jab. Rekka didn't need to spend any meter at all. Chase oh, down. Ooh. That was almost dangerous that he did the third one. Punish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's on fire. Yeah, that's, that's cool for Fudo. He's fine. He, he got away. Everything is catching on fire. Oh, this is bad news for him now, though. Great by Momochi. He has the life lead. Hey, he can have a setup. He just stays in the front. And he outranges. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. But it looked like Fudo might have tried to low profile it because it looked like he got hit low. Yeah. It did, it did. So it wasn't even necessarily a cross up. He just got hit by a jumping attack. So much of that game was controlled by Fudo. So for Momochi to take it in that last round like that, very quick series, that was excellent. Uh, Momochi takes Momochi control is... right away. I don't no. think so. Yeah. yeah can jump over it. Low board EX Hurricane. Oh! That was interesting. No! That was so smart. Yeah, there's nothing Phelan can do there. Except it, eat that uppercut. It feels a little bit like Momochi found the solution. And that Fudo cracked a little bit. Oh, wow! You don't see that happen very often with Ken's uppercuts in, in Street Fighter 4. <laughs> yeah, as you said. Maybe old games, not now. <laughs> no, but it still happens, sure. Yeah, doesn't it feel like Momochi has, has found something? Yeah, he's got a beat on the rhythm that Fudo has. Yeah, Look at exactly that. like that. And, and then the overhead! Red focus! And he sends 
Caputo out. Momochi moves on, and, and he's in grand finals. And ladies and gentlemen, Shin has qualified for Capcom Cup in, <laughs> in December. But you know what? He still has not qualified for the 7K first place prize. And on top of that, of course, you want to get the best position that you can have in yep. Capcom Cup. And the more points you have, the better you do during the season, the better seed you have for Capcom Cup. So, of course, this is still relevant. And in general, I mean, regardless of any consequences, right. he just wants to win. Now, and here's another thing, too. Very important for Momochi. Yeah. He got bodied by Shin. He got bodied by Shin. This is a really good opportunity to see if he could figure out how to reverse that. Mm. Because you don't, like, if he never had a chance to come back here, that raises Shin's confidence against you, and then that exposes a weakness that maybe other players can take advantage of. Mm. If Momochi can come back here and exert some dominance on Shin, even making it, not, I mean, not even necessarily winning, if he resets the bracket or makes it super close, that kind of sends a message back to Shin. So I think he still has a lot to play for in his set. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, they've, they've sat down up there. No, no change on Shen's face to recognize that uh, that he has qualified, but you know maybe he's keeping the game right, face going. Right. Of course, he wants to win that prize. There's a 3K difference. This is over two times. 4K. Second place. 4K difference. Over two times a difference in prize money between first and second place. Yeah. And once again, shout outs to everyone who's made Capcom this Capcom Pro Tour possible. Send them thanks on Twitter and such.